Two monkeys have been cloned using the technique that produced Dolly the sheep. Identical long-tailed macaques, Zong Zong and Hua Hua, were born several weeks ago at a laboratory in China. Scientists say populations of monkeys that are genetically identical will be useful for research into human diseases. The barrier of cloning primate species is now overcome. In principle, any primate, including human, can be cloned. But our purpose of producing clone monkeys is purely for human benefit, for medical purposes. We see no reason of cloning humans. The society, for ethical reason, will not permit cloning of humans. And this is never within our consideration to extend the technique to humans. Given that uh, the primate cloning is not possible, the society must get together, uh, the scientists and uh, uh, the policy makers, the government uh, should really seriously consider to set up very strict standard of using colony method for humans. And Associate Professor James Bourne from Monash University's Australian Regenerative Medicine Institute in Melbourne doesn't expect humans to be replicated anytime soon. This is a great advance, of course, in medical research, and this is the first time that it's been possible to actually clone monkeys. Like many people will be familiar with the 20 year ago story of Dolly the sheep. And since then, people have been trying to clone primates. But what this group have done that is different is been able to alter the DNA and the way in which they insert that material back into the egg and are been able to get viable births. Mm. Every day we're exposed to cloning technology like a lot of the meat that we eat has probably been from cloned animals so it's been very successful in livestock but it just wasn't able to transfer across with to primates and again with the primates it's still a limited efficiency that we see in this with only two offspring being viable. The discussion point since Dolly the sheep was first cloned the point about do we clone humans. This is not the intention of this and there is no valid translation of this research through to humans yet and it's of course illegal to undertake mm. that research. What this does is it allows us to, the opportunity to essentially look at diseases where other animal models have not been able to avail the cures for things like autism, Alzheimer's and other dementia diseases and Parkinson's. So it allows that opportunity and hopefully it would reduce the number of animals needed in that research. Mm.